Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am the Pentagenarian. I am a 56-year-old veteran that enjoys watching music videos that I have not seen before and listening to music I have not heard before. Now today, um, we, we are going to be checking out 1OK Rock, Delusion All. I'm assuming that's a play on words, make it delusional. Um, the official music video. This dropped a few days ago. And being that I have now proclaimed myself a 1OK Rock fan, I feel it's only right and proper that I re respond by reacting to this. Now, amusingly enough, um, I made a comment after, after, after reacting to the last video I watched of theirs that, boy, I hope they come to the States soon. Well, they're coming in October. So I did a little investigating, and I might be going to see them because the airfare from where I live to Los Angeles is stupid low. Um, if it's still that way this weekend, I might drop a few bucks for my most recent paycheck and buy an airline ticket before I even buy a concert ticket. Or I might just do both at the same time. But it's... Um, the, the, only thing, the only way I can describe it is after watching their last live performance that I reacted to, I kind of went into a... I would call it a Jack Black mode. Where, you know, it's like, this is legendary, and I must go see them in a concert of legend. And and um, so, yeah, I looked, and lo and behold, they're playing in October. And it's kind of funny, because it will be, like, literally, I want to say two weeks after I go see Faun in both um, Detroit and Chicago. So, it's going to be a busy concert season. See, that's one of the things that I'm enjoying about being Gen X is... I've worked my ass off, and I'm at a point now where things are stable. Um, I have a little bit of extra income, so this is what I'm going to do with it. I am my own person at this point, so I'm going to treat myself to things that I haven't done for the last 20 or 30 years. I'm going to go see concerts wherever and whenever the hell I want to. So, yay me. Anyway. We're going to check out the new 1OK Rock Delusion All and um, see what it's all about. I really like these kids, kids, the, these young men, um, whatever. We're going to check it out, and it's probably going to continue on with a foray into um, a lot of Japanese metal because I have a list that has been growing, and I need to get some of the bands knocked off. So we're going to be interspicing regular reactions with like a dive into Japanese metal because I'm really digging it. And I discovered Jaluka, I think, last week. Tomorrow I'm dropping a song that was rec recommended after my Jaluka reaction, which is by the band Nocturnal Bloodlust, which was absolutely phenomenal. Um, well, actually, I probably won't be dropping that tomorrow. It probably dropped a few days ago. I record stuff out of sequence, so you have to excuse me. I'm having a senior moment. Um, but if you like what I'm doing, if you like the songs, if you like my reactions, Click like. Um, I am gonna. Uh, I'm gonna make an offer here. It's very exciting. Uh, you can subscribe for free. Um, <laughs> I know you already know that. That was supposed to be a little bit of a joke. Anyway, um, subscribe if you like. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what a jackass I am. Tell me if you like the video. I, I don't care. Just leave a comment. So I'm gonna shut up now, and we're gonna watch um, One OK Rock Delusional or Delusion All. Here we go. Uh, oh, I should probably do this little transition thing. Yeah, that's a lot better. So let's check this out together, shall we?
What a great track. I mean, seriously, that was a really good track. Um, in fact, that's a good enough track and a good enough video that I'm going to do something that um, I don't you yeah, uh, bright lights that I don't usually do. Not because uh, primarily because I'm lazy. I'll just be 100% honest. But I am going to look up the lyrics to that song because it sounds like something that um, might be worth talking about. One okay rock. Delusion. Here we go. All right. They'll conquer us if we divide. No one will listen to you. We got to stand up and draw a line. It's time to fall back or shoot. Battle lines are being drawn. Why does it feel like they don't feel anything? I pray there's a future behind those walls, but maybe I'm delusional. Let's make a deal. Pretend this bastard democracy is just how we want it, and we're not exhausted. But maybe we're delusional. We're all de fucking delusional. I love that. <laughs> when everything's supposed to happen for a reason, and every talking head expects you to believe them. But we don't need them. We are the kingdom. We know that. We know the amount that we have shared was never even. Why does it feel like they don't feel anything? I pray there's a future behind those walls, but maybe I'm delusional. Let's make a deal. Pretend this bastard democracy is just how we want it, and we're not exhausted. I know in order to be free, you gotta let go, but know that once you do, that's when they take hold. Everything's fair in love and war, so why does it feel like they don't feel anything? I pray there's a future behind those walls. But maybe I'm delusional. Let's make a deal. Pretend this bastard democracy is just how we want it. And we're not exhausted. I think it's interesting because um, basically the way I take that is they are saying, look, you know, it ain't perfect. Um, still a democracy to keep our heads screwed on straight and not let go even though it's dark hang on to that hang on to that but they're right there are times and i'm gonna point this towards the political leaders of both parties in our nation and most of the politicians in the world um they really don't give a fuck about the people what they care about is is being remembered for something and at least this is the 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 impact that i've picked up over the last 56 years they'll do good things but for a lot of them it's all about legacy and there is a wall between us and them I think back to a politician who was once asked, how many houses do you own? And his response was, I don't know. My wife takes care of that. And I thought to myself, this person can't relate to me as a human being. Because if he doesn't know how many houses he owns, and I could tell you exactly how many I do, one, that sometimes it's a struggle to maintain and keep a hold on. That's a person that has no relation to the way I live. So this is a this is an interesting song, kind of thought provoking, which I like. Which is one of the reasons why, um, apart from them being highly entertaining, uh, One OK Rock is slowly moving into my my top tier favorite bands. So yeah, I think I am probably definitely again depending upon how my finances look this weekend, because you don't want to make irresponsible financial decisions no matter how fun they might sound. Um, I, might be, I might be knocking back a, a ticket and some airfare to go out to California to watch these guys perform at the uh, forum because uh, I think it's worth it. And I don't know the next time, if ever, I'll have an opportunity to do so. So I'll, I'll update. And, of course, if I go, I'll try to get as much footage of whatever that I can and do an after-action review of the concert. But until next time,
I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. Very importantly, don't be a dick because the world has enough of them. So yeah, until next time, bye-bye.